TVET strengthens our industry, first by providing competent manpower to the industry, and secondly through the transfer of the best technology. That is definitely the real life, and they produce something uh, not for the store, they produce something directly for, for people who are living here or learning here. In Ethiopia, a newly reformed technical and vocational education and training system is in the process of implementation. Thirteen university construction sites, such as this one in Nekempt, are being used by TVET trainees as training venues. These venues, provided by the University Capacity Building Program, comprise more than 1,500 buildings. It's really a big task, it's really a big challenge. Almost 50% of the population in Ethiopia is younger than 18. These young people need future perspectives and opportunities. Untrained workers are still the majority at most of the construction sites in the country. TVET is providing specialized training that's highly demanded by the industry. Women making up 50% of TVET students are large contributors to the construction sites. Usually the safety precautions at the construction sites are very low. TVET trainees are required to take their safety equipment along to the workplace. All materials required for training can be found at the construction site. The TVET institutions do not have to provide any consumable materials because they're provided by the cooperating companies. We are extensively working on the contribution that TVET students make to the country's economy by having them participate in the construction sector during their training and after they graduate. After being successful in my training, I will do something good for myself and for my country. The job opportunities for specialized occupations in the construction sector are very high. The skills of the teachers are upgraded by German technical experts. I'm responsible for the uh, woodwork and carpentry department here in the TVT College in Neckhamt. And uh, you see in the back, uh, I have two counterparts. Uh, those are two teachers from our woodwork department. We try to improve training in woodwork, especially in the practical field. In cooperative training, there are two training venues. Students who join the TVET colleges take theoretical courses according to the curricula for the first three or four months. Starting from the second semester, they get practical training three days a week on site. <laughs> The cooperating companies in all work fields are benefiting by getting a larger workforce. The productivity and quality is significantly increased. Mutual knowledge exchange and the build-up of a workforce specifically trained for the company's demands contribute to the future capital of the respective companies. I am providing on-the-job training for TVET students, as well as small and medium enterprises. Cooperative training is not limited to construction companies. The industry plays a major role in the new TVET system, in setting up of occupational standards, in training provision through the mode of delivery cooperative training, and in the assessment. Well-organized training attracts young people. Their commitment is the base for economic development. TVET institutes are established in all regions of Ethiopia, involving more than 500,000 trainees. 
the participation of companies and enterprises is increasing. To bring about the Ethiopian industrial development, our major task is to build up middle-level skilled manpower and the best technology in all sectors. TVET colleges are suitable environments to train, experience teamwork and develop social competence. Experienced teachers impart quality awareness as a core value. Communication and the exchange of ideas at the workplace are important skills in today's technological world. Adjusted curricula provide reliable guidelines to the students. The synchronization of theoretical understanding and its practical application is essential. We are learning lots of things here, like cutting, shaping and fixing pipelines properly. The college has the best training materials and workshops that bring the education up to standard. EPCO, the Ethiopian Electrical Power Corporation, demands skilled linemen for its rural electrification project. The company is cooperating with TVET to train these linemen. This new approach of cooperative training reduces the training duration from four years, in former times, to only one year, which coincides with the company's needs. While the practical training happens on site, TVET institutes provide the theoretical training. Gemstones and mineral resources are impressive examples of Ethiopia's economic potential. To provide the necessary expertise for its development, training and technology transfer have to go hand in hand. These gemstones are used for jewelry. So for this purpose, they have to be properly made. We shape them according to the size we want. By producing a reliable gemstone cutting machine, TVET turns technology transfer into an integral part of its training approach. We have started to manufacture these machines for the gemstone projects that we have in Bahadar. These machines would cost too much. So together with our students, we have started to produce them here, saving a lot of foreign currency. We are producing the housings, shafts and pulleys locally for the machines. The aim of TVET is not only to provide training, but also to develop small and medium enterprises. The education increased my knowledge and also helped me to manage my work effectively. We formed an association of 13 people and we are doing good business. Abdul Karim is producing quality beehives for the farmers, as well as demonstrating what impact TVET will have for the further development of the country. Thank you.